Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Happy Wednesday. How are you all doing? We're back. We're back in here. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is essentially going to be another uh, kind of indie game showcase kind of night. Uh, with the caveat that we will be looking at two of the games that we had initially passed over the fir oh, on our first run. Um, so, I initially held off on playing these titles because they had some pretty heavy content warnings. And I wanted to play things safe. You know, just in, just in case. Because you never know. Someone would probably be made uncomfortable with some of the content that pops up. Um, so this is an attempt to kind of go back, give those two particular titles their time of day, um, and we'll make sure to review the content warnings again. Um, and I went ahead and also added a command. Let me see. Trevor project my cat just opened the door my cat just opened the door my cat just opened the door <laughs> goofball one of my cats straight up just opened the fucking door to my door oh uh, well she went under the bed so she she is, I guess she just wanted to be in here that badly. She's, it's been a while since she last did that. Like, holy shit, it still blows my mind that she's able to figure that out. I, I need to record her doing that one of these days. What's that doing? Right. Um, uh, see, I got a command set up in chat that should bring up. Did I do it right? Uh, let me see. Hold on. But the. Da -da. There it is. Okay. I think I had to do it in the correct chat. <laughs> so I got a link set up that leads to the Trevor pro or like a chat command that'll bring up the Trevor project. Um, they are a charity that uh, provides services for LGBTQ people, um, including crisis hotlines and they also work in uh, helping to pass legislation that supports LGBTQ rights. Um, so check them out. Um, and if you have any, if you happen to have a few extra bucks on hand, feel free to toss a couple their way. So I brought, I wanted to put this, bring this up in particular. Um, actually. Let me see if I can go ahead and put a reminder post on the announcement tweet while well, we have that on mind. Uh, so, let's see. Yeah, we'll just kind of throw it real quick because we're some of the contents matter that we'll be dealing with struggles with things like uh, depression. Uh, like uh, there's we're looking at an outcry right now, and it has a content warning for transphobia. Um, one of the other uh, games that we're going to look at the drowning machine also has uh is talks about suicide um so there's going to be a lot of heavy content there's going to be some difficult subjects um at any time if you're watching this live if you're watching this in the vod if at any point during any of this you're feeling uncomfortable feel free to step away feel free to step away for however long you need. I will not hold it against you. But the main objective is to make sure we uh, we at least give these games the time of day. Um, and it's because they deal with such uh, difficult subject matter that I wanted to go ahead and wanted to at least show them show them off. Uh, let's see. Let's get this real quick. Because I probably should have done this earlier. Uh... uh
Uh, let's see. Well, let's go. Uh, uh, bah, I lost my train of thought. So, friendly, uh, friendly reminder that I also have a link uh, for the Trevor project. Project in, in case anyone wishes to make a donation their way in uh, their way uh, uh all right uh okay well um, hold on so, like, i'm trying to think figure out how to word this so like social thing and uh, social anxiety a bit it's so, like trying to figure out how to word this uh oh yeah also Donate uh, to the Trevor Project if you happen to have a few extra bucks on hand. There we go. We'll keep like keep it simple. Uh, yeah, there we go. That'll work. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, it's like I went ahead and made a reminder post on the Twitters. And I'll probably have the link to the Trevor Project as well for the VOD upload when this goes up. So, first game we are going to be looking at is an outcry. Now, let's go ahead and review this one. Exploration of life in a doomed country under the wings of a vague menace. So, to reiterate the content warnings for this title... They include sudden loud noises, misgendering, transphobia, fascism, suicide, flashing images, smoking, and drinking. And this was put together by Quinn K. Kaitet, I believe that is. Bowser, Hope Groveland, music by OK Soft, MC Fault, uh, Oscar Mendo, Leaflet, music, uh, no, additional music, uh, Oh, right. Oh, I got... Sorry. The music is by Hope Groveland. Um, okay, soft sensitivity reading. Man, that text is really... I should probably see... I should probably, probably should have fixed the uh, fucking resolution. Uh, leaflet, also for music. Oscar Mendo's art. Uh, MC Profit from scripting. And 3D63 for sound effects and sound design. All right. So, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Starts you off in a very spacious apartment, actually. Or apartment complex. Complex. There we go. There's our character. How you doing? Enjoying your smoke? Enjoying your smoke? Alright. <laughs> Room 5. Yes. Kadokawa, even. Wild. Yeah, Kalakawa must have uh, published it. An outcry. Start. All characters portrayed in this story are fictitious. Any resemblance to existing public figure figures is both incidental and inevitable. This game deals with numerous heavy topics. View content warnings. Yeah, so it gives you another chance to review the content warnings real fast. This game contains one or more instances of sudden loud noises, misgendering, transphobia, fascism, suicide, flashing images, smoking, and drinking. Uh, please use your discretion and most importantly, prioritize your mental and physical well-being over finishing or even playing this game. And again, if you feel com if you're watching this, at any time if you feel uncomfortable, feel free to step away. Thank you. This game is controlled with the arrow keys. Use Z or spacebar to interact. X cancels. C opens the menu. Interesting. Please play with headphones if possible. Distant bird calls welcome the night. An itch. No matter how far you walk, you never feel like you're there. Standing up from their chair, 
the unnamed tosses a book to the ground. The itch intensifies. Hey there, sugar. How you doing? Thank you for swinging by. How you doing this evening? They forget. They need to scratch what is in their chest. Shoes get pulled over their heels. A jacket wrapped around their shape. The door is opened. They emerge. Now... They are almost in your hands. Almost. Here we go. <laughs> the unnamed turn towards the door, then back. They feel their pockets for desired items. Their cigarettes, their lighter, their keys. Shit. They forgot all of it going to be a long night. They needed to get their mail downstairs. Their wrist is slender enough to do that without keys. Their addiction is a different story. They need a lighter and cigarettes. Not the first time they've made the rounds looking for that. There's a lot of time to kill. Enough time to bum smokes off every one of their neighbors. Yep, oh, yep, there we go. We have a proper RPG. Oh, no, oh, wrong button. Yeah. Uh... Save. There. Okay, this is from the first time. I'm, yeah. Kind of tired, to be honest. Weird weather last night kept me up till 7 a.m. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it's... We actually got a pretty heavy shift in weather today. Uh, it actually got really warm out. Like, in lower 80s at the very least. Uh, how are you? I'm doing all right. Just trying to stay cool. Trying to stay cool with this weird-ass weather. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here we go. Interact with Z. Mr. Schmidt opens the door. A strong odor of burning cigarettes fills the air, overwhelming even the unnamed trained nose. Schmidt's fingers are clamped around the smoke. From what little of his apartment they can see through the crack, it is furnished entirely with natural wooden tables, cupboards, and bookshelves. You at my door at 10 a.m. or 10 p.m.? Uh, yes me at your door at 10 p.m. What do you want, boy? That... That's... Uh, I'm not... Well... Well, go away! I have an excellent model ship to build, and you snap me out of focus! The unnamed size. Conversations with Schmidt typically don't go differently from this one. Maybe Miss Eisen will give them what they need. Or better yet, Anne. Yeah, not exactly a welcoming person there. Sounded like the wind was gonna bust the window. It was wild. Jeez, really? Yikes. <laughs> that, is, that is wild. Holy shit. <laughs> and yeah, that's kind of the the uh, misgendering that the, the one of the content warnings was about. So hopefully we don't run into too much of that. But I have a feeling it's gonna be I have a feeling it's gonna be popping up a bit for a reason. I imagine I imagine there's a reason. There's a narrative reason for it. Miss Ilmas? They think that was her name. Honestly speaking, she is probably the neighbor they know the least about. Their paths briefly, briefly cross from time to time, specifically when she is following her janitorial duties around the building. As the unnamed knocks, an exhausted voice calls. I'll be right there! Soon, Miss Yildrim opens the door. From behind her, the unnamed can faintly hear two young boys arguing. Good evening. Uh, uh, 65 mile per hour winds in between 25 mile per hour ones. Jeez, that is wild. Holy shit. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's fuck. That is wild. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, if, you have any, if you have any Halloween decorations, make sure they're strapped down pretty well. Pretty tight. You don't want those flying down the road. Uh, good evening, Miss Sildrum. That is almost my name. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Mrs. I... I am still married. Ah. Uh -huh. Off to an easy start. What did you want to talk about? 
Um, let's see. How you been, madam? I can't complain. I guess I can't. I should be grateful, actually. Working is hard, but living could be worse. Uh, life could, life could be better, too. We should never ask for more than we are given. It leads to unhappiness to do so. If you believe so, madam. I don't really know. I, I understand what you mean. A beat. If you are looking for a smoker, you have the wrong door. That's one more to the left. Or two. Uh, you got it. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Okay. No dice here either. This couple chasing the trash bin. It was funny. <laughs> I, have n I haven't seen that myself, but yeah, I believe it. Yeah, locked out. May as well bum cigarettes off the neighbor's skill time. Okay. I guess try here again. They hesitate. They don't think trying again would do them good. And Schmidt has nearly punched them once before. Ooh. Best to walk away. Yeah. Good idea there. It's, let's just go away from that. Can we go down this hall? Is there a hallway? Oh, they... Okay, there is more to the hallway. Okay. Let's see how... Let's see how far this hallway goes. Cool music. Behind the door refurbished and polished to a sheen lies a dreary hole. Swallowed by whitewashed walls that flicker in perpetual TV static. This is Miss Eisen's place. After a few seconds of silence, she approaches and opens the door. Her nightgown is dirty and reeks of cigarettes. Why, hello there. Who do we have here? The boy. But the girl. But the boy. Uh, hmm. Let me tell you. When you moved in here... Hold on, I have a button for this. You were half your current size. You are never going to be a girl like this. Let me tell you. Oh, this is getting dicey. <laughs> Luckily, the weather is gone, but a lot of people were having power issues. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. It's like it's very easy to have get the uh, for the power to get knocked off, knocked out in that kind of weather. It, very easy. Like, I think we had, I think there was, we had, when we had a storm a couple of weeks ago, power got flickered a little bit, but we didn't really lose it for a good while. Like, there was a light, brief, like, five-second period where everything kind of sh got shut off, but then it came back on shortly after. <laughs> of course, Miss Eisen. I need, oh, I don't, I don't have any other dialogue options. I need to ask. Yes. Uh, got a cigarette to spare? Pardon, dear? I said... Did I hear that right? Oh, <laughs> you can not be serious, dear. Oh, no, 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 no. I certainly do not have any handouts to give to somebody as you. I thought you and I were on friendly terms, and here you are asking me again for a gift, giving not in return ever! How wrong I was! Pray tell! When you vouch all your cigarettes you carelessly lit your courtyard with, but what else? They are still here! And who else but I is relied upon by you and everyone else to clean up after you? Mm. Leave it to the old, old woman who's sort of can be like. Okay, yeah, she's she's going off. Oh, uh, mmm. Okay, mmm. Yikes! Big yikes! <sighs> Any which way, I cannot give you even a single cigarette until you have paid me for the ones that you have already taken! I could certainly spare more if you were to go to the tobacco- uh, tobacco- you t tobacco- tobacconist? That is, that's an actual title? <gasps> but, oh dear, it closed three hours ago! You may just have to wait! <laughs> Always a pleasure, Gertrude. Quite the opposite, dear. Pull your damn white zone, and for heaven's sake, eat less. Good night, Miss Eisen. Pardon? I said good night, Miss Eisen. That is missed to you.
Well, that went about as well as it could have gone. <laughs> yeah, went from zero to ten, zero to a hundred real fast. Yeah. Poof. Huh? The unnamed has a sudden thought. They were told in therapy to be more assertive. People may have more to say if they press the request with them. People like Schmidt. Or they'll at least feel bothered enough to give them six. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that escalated super fast. Let's try last door on, the hall on this floor. Oh, so maybe we'll get something here. The unnamed quietly smiles to themselves before their knuckle meets the door of their friend. Oh god, who coming? They sway back and forth on their heels, waiting for one Anne Pierrot, the self and other proclaimed poet extraordinaire. And here she is! Tis I, your gal pal! Hi, Anne. How you doing, girlfriend? Haven't seen you leave your apartment for anything but a smoke this past week. Can't be healthy. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> well, you'll have to bear with my pleasantries first, while, whilst they're hot. How are you? Uh... I'm... Okay, okay. Oh, dearie me, you're a bad liar, baby. What's eating you? Come on, out with it, young lady. Uh, I feel... Oh, okay. Mmm. Oh, man, all of these... <laughs> all of these... All of these... Um... Man. Man. Uh... Okay. All of these... All of these feel like going in certain directions. Um... Jeez. Uh... Let's just... We'll go with this one first. Uh... Don't call me that, please. Uh, uh, of, of course! Of course! I'm sorry, baby. I promise it won't happen again. Yeah. No, seriously. Hold me to it. I've known this for a year now. It's high time. A beat. Okay, so we can't... I, I feel like we're... I, it seems like we're going to be going through all of these, so might as well go down the list. I feel bad in my body. Don't I know the feeling, baby. Remember, my offer still stands. It will stand for the foreseeable future. The short-term foreseeable future. Uh, ooh. Yeah, at least she said sorry. Yeah, at least she apologized. At least she apologized. Like, so far she seems like the nicest person in this entire building. Did it, you know, did it help? Well, <laughs> duh. Of course it would. That's just the kind of thing that helps against... Oh. Oh, dear. Yuri. Oh, what am I gonna do with you? Can I do anything? Hug you? Yeah, no, 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 please. Not right now. Understood. Okay. Little one. Trust me when I say this. It can get better. If I had a cigarette, I'd offer you one right now. Oh, not sure if I pronounced that right. <laughs> Ugh, I don't even have a lighter. Oh, baby, I got a veritable million of those. Suit yourself. Hey, lighter. Which one do you want? Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Transflag, cool skull. Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. Oh man, decisions, decisions. You know what? I feel like they would want to kind of want to grab this one. Trans rights. <laughs> uh, there we go. The game. Uh, trans rights. <laughs> Aha! Person of taste. Here you are. The unnamed got a trans flag lighter. 
Thank you so much, Anne. Are you coming to smoke one with, with me? I'm so sorry, dear. I don't have any to spare. The cupboard and cupboard boxes are bare. Oh. Ah, I see what you did. I see what you did there. <laughs> oh. They're both nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, t they, they both have a very particular relationship here. No tail in sight, no smoke, no light to hail the flame to burn so bright. Who said that? An extraordinary poet. Oh, <laughs> Schmidt's probably got what you need. I can smell his flat from the other end of the building. Tell you what, if you want to loop around to gossip or need help, just let me know. Uh, thank you, Anne. See you later. <laughs> hey. Yeah, Anne's nice. Anne's nice. Well, we got a lighter now at the very least, so maybe we'll see. I wonder. Uh, building's elevator shows its age. They'd rather not ride it until they have what they need to smoke. I guess... I guess double back around to Schmidt. The only other option we do have, really. A long, drawn-out groan is audible, coming closer. What in the devil you want now, boy? Uh, how goes the ship building? We didn't find Danny until you showed up. Hurry the fuck up and tell me what you want. May I have a cigarette? <laughs> oh, I don't like that. I don't like that laugh. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, sure, little man. Have a whole pack. Knock yourself unconscious on that sweet, sweet perfume. You know, my cigarettes are self-rolled. I buy the tobacco from overseas. You'd better fucking appreciate it. And also fall unconscious. And sleep. And quit disturbing me while I'm building model ships! Is... Is this really okay? <laughs> I don't like that sound. I don't like that sound. I don't know if that sound's picking up, but fuck, I, that is actively making me uncomfortable. Yeah, sure. I roll like a hundred of them every day. Knock yourself out. The unnamed got some cigarettes. Are they strong? Fuck! Little buddy, they sure are. They'll knock the wind out of you. Now go have a pleasant smoke and then scoot, the, scoot off the fuck to bed. And make no more noise! That won't be possible. Lock myself out. Ooh, long night ahead, huh? Well, don't come crying to me about it. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Lip smacking, is that what that is? I was trying to fucking parse what that sound was, but I just like, it just sounded really dis uh, disturbing. All right, take the elevator. We got what we need. <sighs> I hate this thing. The elevator stalls from time to time. They're always caught off guard by its arrival. Come on. I guess we there are stairs, but... Mm. Mm. Ah, uh. There we go. Alright, let's see. What else is around here? Uh, I, okay. That, that, that was something I could examine. What is this? Okay, can't examine that. I thought I could knock on that door to see what it was. Go outside. They should be stern with themselves and get the mail first. Oh, right. Mail. Uh, where's the mail? Hold on, let's go ahead and save the game real quick. There we go. I have 20 cigarettes and a lighter. Trans, uh, trans flag, uh, yeah, trans flag lighter. Here we go. Uh, oh, is this just back upstairs? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I see. Is this the mailbox? Okay, the building bulletin board. There are four notices. Press C to exit out. Uh, let's see. Delivery driver. Steer postdoc delivery driver. Drivers. Just find building store number. Start at the top and end at the bottom. Lower the apartment number. The further upstairs it is. 
That should be first. Similar sentiment, I'm sure. Two, if you arrive after dark, do not attempt to use any light switches. Do not shine your flashlight into any of the residents' windows. People are trying to sleep. Three, if you decide to make your disgruntlement th known through vandalism, I will not hesitate to call the police. Four, if you are unable to read this notice, please find Ms. Esma Ildrim, our brave janitor, at floor number, door number seven. Very sorry for your inconvenience, regards the landlord. There's a notice in Turkish written with a careful blue cursive posted, uh, ah, written with a careful blue cursive posted underneath. Uh, the, I don't read, I can't read Turkish. I can't read Turkish, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, light's not working. Uh, received your notice regarding the wiring in the halls and its present incapacitation. Heard loud and clear. Henceforth, rent will be doubled. So as to account for my being required by a request to save up for a complete electrical overhaul of this building. Oh. This house is from the 1930s. Wiring is irreparably obsolete. Lies outside my power to fix it. Unless you feel a personal responsibility right this long. I suggest you bring a flashlight with you at night or move out. Very sorry for your inconvenience. Landlords. Am I right? <laughs> Uh, no fire extinguishers. Rent, rent is overdue for Kober Burnoff Stenstaden Ildrum. Make a payment immediately to obviate the need for legal action and eviction. I too need to make a living. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. My thoughts exactly. Uh, let's see. Is this the mailbox? Slides their hand into the mail slots. They can feel a small sheet of paper. They catch it between their fingers and pull it out. Oh. Package arrived whilst they were sleeping. Due to occupant absence, it was left at the front door of the building. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're the worst. <laughs> they are the worst. That package is bothering them. Maybe it's still there, out front. Oh. Oh, is that the front door? Oh, maybe, maybe I can go through here. Ah, here we go. The Vienna City Belt. A place of restriction. The constriction of tenant belts and cheap liquor serve the hungry heads. People pass here only ever to get through or by. The unnamed should know. Their package is not before the main entrance. There's something suspicious lying at the road they should look at. Down here? Oh. Stolperstein. Stumbling block. Substantive. One, figurative hurdle to somebody's thoughts, causing them to fail. Two, an art piece by artist Gunter Demnig. Demnig. Inscribed here are the names of people killed by a force of hate. Here lived a name, a human being, a person, specificity, span of time in history. Institutionalized or fled, then caught by the Nazis and murdered. Killed on a specific date. Not the only one on that day. In a specific place designed for killing. Their absence is palpable here. With this memorial, one among thousands. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. Let's see, what else? Nothing interesting around this corner. Close again. Food store. Yeah. Oh, what is this? The graffiti on the wall says something to the effect of the rent here is shit. The unnamed degrees. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of levity. The unnamed eyes sun focus and stare off into the distance. Take a look around. Look out. Ooh, select objects of interest with arrow keys. Examine with space or Z when the cursor changes. Press escape or X to return to the unnamed. Interesting. Okay. Ah, whoa. Okay, it's a little... Okay, it's moving itself to different points. Gotcha. Looking at this stunted tree in the station shade, the unnamed is reminded of their old therapist. His office, even now, is just a couple paces from their apartment. At one point last year, before they would switch to someone different, that therapist gave them the task of drawing a tree. So they did, and handed in the result. The response they got was... 
That's it. Oof. They felt a little alienated from their therapist in that moment. It seemed almost like he wasn't assessing the Milo of the tree, the actual point to the therapeutic exercise, but their lack of art skills. Soon thereafter, other places would slot into place. The heated discussions on therapy time about whether fixing bikes and computers counts as art. His obsession with keeping the unnamed a smoker. It's just what artists do, etc. And, of course, partner therapy. Uh... They'd really rather not think about Alex again. Yeah, that seems like the subject probably shouldn't go go into detail about. Ah, that, okay, that's, ooh, that's terrifying. That is actually terrifying. The Austrian right-wing party advertises full force in this district of the city. Like spores, the, these politer, politer vi, bleh, politvertising posters sow the Cheshire man's smile into the brains of the despondent. His eyes an unnatural steel blue, his features photoshopped to eternal youth. Every so often, the unnamed will linger before one of these posters and examine it. They always contain these strong slogans and exonerable inexor yeah inexor I, I cannot I cannot words tonight I cannot words tonight <laughs> uh, statements like our money for our people no livelihood for foreigners let's take Vienna back your foreign neighbor isn't safe against lies and corruption we it will soon turn out are plenty corrupt ourselves. Vote the Freedom Party Sebastian Schrey for Chancellor 2017. You would think this might polarize, but the unnamed still isn't sure whether to vote against or for them. Yeah, you would. I'm going to assume that uh, Turkish politics is insanely complicated. That's a winner's smile right there. Yeah, right? It's like fucking hell. That's, that's going to be in my fucking nightmares tonight for sure. What the... What is that? What is that? Beneath the many wheels, there is a battered copy of Robert Coover's The Public Burning. The contents of their package. It is unsalvageable. Oh. Fucking hell. Oh. That, that's a bummer. That. Oh, jeez. Uh. What else is here? Piece of paper that has completely receded into the street. Dust to dust. Ish. Reminds me of the smiley guy from Courage. Oh! Oh, God. Which one? The, uh... The barber? Is the barber? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that, yeah, the barber, dude. Uh, oh, it's talking about being... Naughty. <laughs> uh, there was a there was a reanimated project of that particular episode that's Upal on Newgrounds, and it's a really fun watch. Like I really enjoy. I've really gotten into like re blank reanimated projects because you see so many different artists coming together to do a cool thing, and it's 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 fun. It's it's fun watch. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. The most recent thing came out is the Ultimate Showdown remake, where everyone is like a bunch. It, it's essentially a bunch of our animators coming together to to remake the Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny, and it is a fucking it is a fucking trip. It is a fun ass watch. That's like blast from the past. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, I would I probably should avoid doing anything. Naughty. <laughs> uh, where were we? The U6 line is a rotten place, full to the brim with people, most of them impoverished. They don't like to admit this to themselves, but the unnamed too is poor. They have tried time and time again to get a job, to no avail. So they keep trying, and trying, and trying, the curriculum vitae in their dead hands. Not impressive enough. Mm. There never are any stars in the city. It's never dark, but never quite bright either. They miss them. 
Mm. Anything else? Uh, traffic. Cars speed by, all going the same direction, further and further down the bend of the city belt. The odd police and ambulance blare their way past the unnamed. One time, about two years ago, the unnamed had made a decision. They would go into the road and become a windshield passenger, like a bird or a bug. Oh. 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 Yes, like a bug. At 1 a.m., they set their first step onto the tire-flattened asphalt. The day's fading heat warmed their shoes. No cars came for a few minutes. Traffic lights had changed. Yet soon, their approach turned imminent. For a moment, the unnamed did not care. It brought to mind the light at the end of the proverbial tunnel. A release. A better place. However, some kind of inner conviction pulled them, forced them, back onto the pavement. They swallowed their tears until they got back inside. All reasons, any reasons, weren't good enough. Aren't good enough. But sometimes, even now, they still want to go back to that moment and fight their survival instinct. Hmm, yeah, this is getting, like, really depressing. So here they, you, stand. Is it really you? So many plasters slapped onto your skin. So many stamps pressed into your mind shape, declaring you no longer a danger to yourself, pasted on scars, faded. Is this the real you? Blending into the tone of your skin, they may as well be written on your body. But they are square little liars handed to you on sheets of paper, for with their multiplicity, they reveal their ineffectualness to you. What people don't know is that the human mind, your mind, is like a home. A barrage of never-ending chores. Socializing is a chore. Exercising is a chore. Shaving is a chore. Washing your body is a chore. Putting clothes on is a chore. Eating is a chore. Drinking is a chore. Walking is a chore. But without even one of these, you get worse. They get worse. Their dysphoria screams with entitlement of a sensory perfection and social acknowledgement that they cannot attain. And soon, they cast this thought aside. <sighs> Oof. Anything else we need to look at? Or... Okay. I think one more thing that we need to look at. Yeah, that... This dialogue is... Again! Again! Anyone... If it, any if at any point anyone watching... Needs to step away... Feel free to. I will not hold it against you. Like, I'm... 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 Trying... To keep this is like <sighs> all right there we go there we go there we go just whew. <sighs> okay sorry just trying to find a way to put this into words Ugh. the unnamed has a rich history with the u6 line there's a reason they prefer their bicycle uh i think that's everything yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, so what now? Uh, start off in the distance. Um, let's see. I guess I can. I guess I use my cigarette at this point. Uh, stop for a smoke. He would rather wait until they're someplace more secluded. Ah, okay, fair enough. Uh, where can I go though? Uh, well. The door won't open without keys. Fuck. Okay. They ring Anne's doorbell. Door number 105. Yeah. Who's there? Me. Sorry, Anne. 
<laughs> You're silly. Did you try to smoke out in the street? Not quite. Come on in, you. I'll keep it on autobuzz from now on. There we go. Thanks. Ah, let's see. Okay, we can go this way now. The back lot. Out in the fresh city air, car fumes dampened by the apartment walls encircling them. The unnamed thinks. Time to poison this place some more. They click the lighter, igniting it. Stone sparks firing at gas. The itch in their chest. The gaping maw makes grabby hands, clicks its jaw at the cigarette even before it is lit. <sighs> the unnamed feels like they can focus a lot better now. Like their mind has traveled out of their body. Like a carbon monoxide copy of them was sent to a safe place. Save. Oh. Don't close the screen until you saved. Here we go. <laughs> oh, you're actually saving the game. Interesting. 20 cigarettes, 15 slots. Diminished. Now by one. They'd better make the most of that. Oh, so your save slots are actually like save files. Interesting. This art is really good. An outcry there. Oh, is this it for the demo? Is this the end of the demo? Oh no, that's just the title. That's just the title sequence. Jeez. <laughs> wow. That's just the title sequence. Is this like the full, is the full game on here? Cause that would be fucking wild. The unnamed watches are exhaust, like this is from the uh, haunted PS1 demo disc. So it'd be wild if the actual full game is here. The unnamed watches their exhaust travel about like a restless stray. I'm sorry, what? They snap out of their nicotine stupor as the sound of a distant outcry is carried to them. Its reverberations are felt far and wide, amplified by the surrounding walls. Hello? Follow or ignore? Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, follow, I guess. Follow it. Yeah, put, put that out first. Something has burrowed itself deep in the unnamed's brain. A conviction. A steadiness. There is nothing more here. They should go talk to Anne. Mmm. Okay. Jeez, that was that was wild. <laughs> uh that is like that that scream though. Is just what the fuck? The unnamed spike. Okay, that's it. <laughs> it's like holy shit. Hi. A still bird is perching on the brickwork. Its gaze is strangely pierce piercing. More bikes. Uh, how far can we actually walk around out here? Uh, yeah, the, okay. Yep, that's, okay, so this is the end of the yard. Okay. Uh, they believe this bike belongs to a kid that lives here. And city bike. She brings her groceries home with it. All right, yeah, let's go. Let's see if we can go back and talk to Anne. What the? Hello. Hello? Oh hell, oh hell. Stop and linger for a spell. Uh-oh. That's a nice bike. Th these are, those are some pretty nice bikes. I need to get a bike. I need a new bike. That's why I should... I should try and save up for a new bike, because it might... It would make, like, short travel a lot more... It, a lot easier, you know? That way I don't have to pull the car out. 
Hmm? Uh, never mind. Oh, God. Oh, it's the bird. Oh, it's the bird. <laughs> never mind the newer mind. Life and difference is unkind. Nameless see the birdness he on the bricks on the bricks. What? What the fuck? Nameless better suck it up. Questions asked for the birdness ma. Is this not the final straw? Should this not be well explained? What makes birdness so disdained? People don't hate birds. I'm sorry, you're just creeping me the hell out. Get a cute look, get a little cute bell on it. Yeah, 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 there you go. It's just one of those ching 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 ching. <laughs> uh let that way passing someone passing someone on the side was it's like, yo, yo, coming through. <laughs> oh that noise. Oh that noise. Terrific is the bird is he. Think again and pray for thee. Terrific birdness. This is asinine. Insult to my injured heart. Apologize, you blight in sight. Look, I don't care about you. Right now, you... Glowing hallucination. I need... To go back inside. Yeah. What would nameless hearts and mouths yet defend from birdness beaks? What? kick <laughs> kick are... are you threatening me? Did you or did you not follow an outcry? I did. Then... Skit! KKK? Okay, that was weird. Going inside now. <laughs> Dial up bird sounds, yay! Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Fuck it. Fucking bird with a connected to a 56k modem. Like, holy shit. Just, just, when it, instead of bird sounds, it's just fucking AOL startup noises. Alright, yeah, let, let, let's go talk to Anne. Let's go talk to Anne. Anne? Hmm? Where, wait, where is she? Come on, please. Where is Anne? Where is Anne? Uh. 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 Birds aren't real, anyways. I don't know. These birds look very real to me. And and help me, please. For the love of oh, jeez. For the love of goodness, baby. I'm in the middle of writing that bastard of a smut book. What gives? A <laughs> smut book. Uh, uh. Oh, God. Is everything all right, baby? Can you call me a locksmith, please, Anne? Oh, darling. <laughs> Of course, you should have said, and said you needed one sooner. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, go away, birds. You're not wanted here. Oh, poor baby, all alone in the cold and the dark, and pinches their cheek. Hey, uh, come on in. I got some writer's block solvent open, so feel free to have a sip as well. We'll warm you up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aww, well, this is a cute little place. Well, 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 if it isn't the monochromatic wraith. <laughs> uh, I can only wear so many colors. I can only, I only have so many colors available. <laughs> How you doing, Red? Thank you for swinging by. How's your evening been? Uh, come on, have a seat. What's your poison? Uh, uh. I thought you only had one kind. Baby, you need to do your homework on all things, Anne, if you truly thought that. How do you want to cure your tyrannical slump tonight? 
<laughs> hey, hey, she's got some good stuff. Work's got me beat. Hey, yeah, I know that feeling. I know that feeling all too well. How's the stream? Whew. We're going into some diff we're going into some tough subjects here, but that's kind of what the objective for the most part is, you know? We're we're still we're tr we're going God, how do I even want to say this? Like we're dealing with some tough, uh, difficult subjects, but we're also seeing some really good content here. We're like this. This game is really interesting, and we're now just kind of looping into the horror aspect of it. Um, uh, but it's like there's some really tough subjects that's like I'm not really used to going over in video games, so. This is definitely an experience for me personally. So if I seem like if I seem anxious at any point, like that's kind of why. Uh, uh, yo, what's good? Hey, corpse eater, how you doing? Thank you for swinging by. How's your evening been? Yeah, you stay strong. You got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. And again, to everyone else as well. Well, like. Like, we've been going on some rough uh, rough uh, topics in this game. So, again, if you need to step away for any reason, any reason at all, I will not hold it against you. For those watching in the VOD as well, uh, in, in the VOD, same, same thing. If at any point you're feeling uncomfortable, feel free to, like, put this on pause, step away, gather your thoughts, and feel free to come back. Um, for now, some bourbon, please. All right, you hard-boiled egg. But I'm not fixing you a second one if you don't like it. Yo. She's got the good stuff. Chilling, my guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a nice little place. Feels cozy. So, tell me. What's eating you? Um... You always do need to get that coke style of you, huh? Come on, have your first sip, the, sip of the truth serum. <laughs> it might help. Hmm. Oh. Ugh. Oh, not, not a bourbon. Not a bourbon person. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, baby, let me ask again. What's eating you? I'm scared for my mental health. Oh dear. Maybe it's a good thing you came to me. Just remember, I got drinks, so there's ice cubes as well. Use them if use them if you need. No, no, it's not that. I saw, I saw a bird. We stand this quaid. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love Anne so much right now. I heard a bird speak. Uh, oh, the birds are speaking to you. Hmm, I think you see your point now. Well, this is a daft little question, but uh, what did it say? So, there was this horrible sound first. Like, ooh, oh man. So both of these kind of have the same in, it's like seem the same, but it feels like they both have different interpretations. The end of an era of peace. Feel like I couldn't stand by. Had to take some kind of action and not resolve to do so. I heard the sound too. Wait, you did? Yeah, spooked the hell out of me. Thank, thank Christ, I wasn't the only one. Boots marching and sirens wailing, screams within screams, whispers walking round, going door to door. Uh, yes, that was it. In frightened situations, but whatever it was we heard was otherworldly. So, what of the bird? Eyes were orange. 
and its beak was long, and its plumes gray, but it was no crow or jackdaw. And what did it say? It said that I had insulted it, that I should apologize for making light of it. Peculiar, this whole affair. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, she definitely heard that bird as well, so maybe, maybe there's something, something going on here. Peculiar, this whole affair. Well, I'm sure you were just spooked, like myself. There must be a logical explanation for the sounds and what you heard. I'll call your locksmith now. Thank you so much. Don't mention it, baby. Uh, I guess we can kind of look around the place a little bit while she calls. Spiraling pattern is indented into the table wood, covered in a smooth, colorful ceramic glaze. And there's a poem here that Anne wrote. A love verse. There can be no such thing as doves. They aren't real. They aren't real. Enough has touched, enough has marred, and I, a thing of broken heart, was pecked and scarred sufficiently. Hold on. Hey, don't just read any dang thing you find at my place, egg. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, ouch. Chair. Anne's reading chair. Let's see. Can I look out the window, by any chance? Strangely dark out for the city at night. Uh, can I go anywhere else? Oh, hey, don't snoop in there, please. Oh, okay. Uh, kitchen, maybe? No need to snoop in Anne's kitchen. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see. Anne finishes her phone call. He says he's in the area. He'll be knock knocking in. Nope. Oh. Oh, hell. I left the thing on the auto buzz. I did hear traffic when he was around. Maybe it was just that close by. I suppose I should check. I suppose so, too. Are you going to finish a drink? Yeah, no, it's sure. <laughs> if it's any consolation, I had something I had too. A cosmopolitan. Bombs up. Yeah, there we go. Look, look. Yeah. Hey, you? Yeah. Whatever is happening, I think rest will do you lots of good tonight. Sleep well, little one. Aww. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. It, Cause the birds are coming. I really hope those birds aren't coming. Be safe. Yeah. Guess we gotta go back to our apartment now. Hopefully the locksmith's there. Hopefully we don't run into any more birds. Rather not run into any more birds. In the moment of most choices, you don't realize you're making one. Little dominoes tumble, gears click into place, and much, much later, you see what changed. Hmm? Uh, okay. You have chosen for the unnamed, knowing that their choice is all they are. Keep watching your diorama, keep playing with your doll. Okay, what's going on here? Hmm? What the? Uh, that's not good. Uh huh. The well, locksmith must have. Weird. I don't like this. I don't like this. I really don't like this one bit. I really don't like this one bit. Oh. There we go. Uh, bridge opens against the kitchen counter, meaning they have to walk around its door to get the food they're preparing out of it. Oh, jeez. It's a minor annoyance, nothing more, but it is one among one- Yeah, it is one among many in this apartment. The unnamed chooses to joke about it. There's nothing else they can really do. Yes, this is a nice, small thing. Candy tier list when? Uh, okay. Here's a quick tier list run rundown real fast. Uh, fucking... Uh, jeez. 
Fuck, my mind blanked. <laughs> my mind blanked. Uh, okay. Three Musketeers, like, fucking, uh, fucking awesome. Uh, below that would be, like, uh, Kit Kat bars. Uh, cheeses and candy. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not including cheese. Nah, nah, nah. Three Musketeers, though, those, those are always, like, something I really enjoy. When I can I'm able to find something. Not, not exactly very, like, far from healthy, but yeah, it's just, like, something about it's just, like, really enjoyable to me. Um, Hershey's chocolate, chocolate bars are, like, lower on that. Uh, stra uh strawberry licorice. Oh, jeez. I don't really, I don't really, I can't really eat licorice. What's your opinion on candy corn? Tastes like ass. Candy corn tastes like ass. <laughs> uh, the unnamed's laptop. Piece of shit in a half-broken limbo. Held together with technical know-how alone. They really need, need a new one, but can't really save up sufficiently to get one. Rent is more important. Yeah, fair. Sometimes they wonder what it would be like to still get Christmas gifts from family. Oh. Oof. It's a tight squeeze between the oven door and the adjacent cupboard. Uh. What is this? Bicycle chain for their project. Okay. Power cells for their project. A lofty goal for somebody as poor as them, maybe. But they really want an electric bike. Yeah, <laughs> electric bike. Oh man, that one actually would be kind of uh, interesting. Bedside table and lamp. Might they leave their keys in here? There's also a half empty pack of cigarettes tucked away in this, in this drawer. The unnamed got five cigarettes. Yo, more cigs. Shelves filled with books, column to column. A radio and CD player combo sits in between, its display glowing orange in the dark. They fall asleep more easily with the radio on. Might do that tonight. Yeah, there you go. Privy to small bite-sized chocolates. Oh yeah, it's just like little thing, little, those little small uh, chocolate candies that you can just go pop. <laughs> uh, like all candy, just shovel into my mouth. Okay, you heard her. It's just got like grab a shovel and just, just grab, grab, just pilot the pilot the truck and just go beep beep. Just shovel it all in. <laughs> uh. Oh, I'll take your candy corn. Please do. Please do. Go for it. It's all yours. <laughs> uh, yeah, good thing about candy corn lover lovers, you give them all the candy corn. Good, because I will not be able to have... I cannot eat it myself. <laughs> they left the complete place of Bertolt Breck on the ground earlier. The unnamed is too tired right now to put this heavy book back on the shelf. What is in here? Bathroom? Bathroom. Nothing confronts the unnamed more inevitably than their twig-like shape than th with their twig-like shape than showers. Dysphoria gnaws at them as they get clean. Though this has recently changed for the better, it's still not easy. Mm. A toilet. That's it. Just a toilet. The unnamed hates looking at themselves in the mirror. Mm. It's pitch black outside. Usually, there would be a faint glow of street lamps. Peculiar. Very peculiar. All right, I guess we, I guess we need to go to bed. The unnamed's unmade bed. Yeah, let's go to bed. All right, there we go. Good night. Black, black licorice is. <laughs> uh oh, hold that thought. Yield, I have been <laughs> to inform the Austrian for <laughs> yielding to force. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -oh. Their beating wings overshadow all. <laughs> Their end of demo. Who? Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh man, that that is that is actually a really good that is a really good fucking setup. Holy shit. That is really good. Alright. That was an outcry. That was an outcry. Holy shit. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah.
I actually looked the game up. It is available on Itch.io. I think it's still in uh, development. I think? I have to double check and see. It's like, I think I saw it was still in development. Like they were shooting for a 2022 release. Uh. Yeah, and so... Oh, yeah. Black liquor, black liquor, licorice? I cannot eat... I can't, can't really eat licorice in general, but black licorice? Like, no. That's like... Should taste like cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like the Eldritch Void. Exactly. Uh, black licorice is tolerable in small quantities. I will take your word for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like I cannot eat licorice in myself. Black licorice especially is just like, no thanks, I'm good. <laughs> no thanks, I am good. Uh, so yeah. Once again, that was an outcry. Like, I'm really impressed with the... The pixel art is amazing in the game. I will say this. And it's definitely got a very interesting, very cool premise going. Because I think, if I'm understanding it correctly, your cigarette supply is also the amount of save slots you have? If I'm if I was un, if I'm understanding that correctly, and that seems to feed into one of the narrative elements of addiction, you know. But whew, yeah, definitely might actually check that out myself later. All right, so this is the other demo that we ended up passing over last time, the drowning machine. So. Let's go ahead and review the content warnings for this one. Drowning Machine. Before my best friend's passing, we began working on a game together. These excerpts are all I have left. In his honor, it's time to finish that game. So, content warnings. Body horror. Suicide. Self-harm. Real death. Graphic description and discussion of strong negative emotions. And this is developed by... Aiden Cushing and Charlie Schultz. So, as, as before, if at any point you feel uncomfortable with what is being with, with what is happening here, feel free to step away. I will not hold it against you. And also another reminder. Let's see. Right. Trevor Pro Fe also friendly reminder there's a link in chat to the Trevor project um is they're a very good charity uh that helps LGBTQ citizens please feel free to send a donation their way if you're feeling generous all right so I looked at this a little bit and it's it's apparently in multiple different parts. So we'll see what part is available for this. Uh, we interact with this. Ooh, I like the music here. Yes. Very specific narrative style. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is definitely gonna be heavy. All right, Drowning Machine. This feels like this is a game that could be played in VR, actually. Read before playing. I feel it's important to warn you of exactly what you're about to see. As much as it has been incredibly painful to work on, I feel that this message is one that needs to be heard. In February of 2019, my best friend Charlie took his own life. He was a brother to me, as much as he was a friend. A few months before his passing, he and I began to work on a game together, a project he loved dearly. What you're about to see is the closest I will ever come to his original vision, wrapped in my own experience mourning his loss. The Drowning Machine is a testament to his life and creativity, and the real, unfiltered experience of losing a loved one to suicide. I've attempted to start this project a number of times, under different names and perspectives, but this has been the only way this feels right. Before he passed, he insisted that if anything bad ever happened to one of us, the other had to finish the game. Profit from the drowning machine will be do donated to a trans lifeline in Charlie's honor. Yeah. 
So let's see. Check our options real quick. Turn the volume down just a little bit. It's getting a little bit loud. Uh, full, full screen. There we go. May you rest in peace. Yeah. Rep. Yeah. Rest. Rest in peace for Charlie. <laughs> uh, let's see. Play. Uh, so yeah, there's def different chapters. So I think I don't know if all of them are available. Well, let's see. Because I think I clicked one of them and it opened the itch.io page. Oh, you were gone before I ever knew to start. I watched as your spine began to snap. Reverie contains excerpts from the poem Severance, written by Charlie, provided before his passing. Coming soon. Okay, and yeah, I click on that. Okay, there it is. Yeah, it opens. Clicking play opens up the uh the itch.io page for this. So let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Here we go. So let's see. Is there one we can play? Not okay. Coming soon. Coming soon. Okay. Free Fall is available. Wanderlust is available. Uh, coming soon. The end. Okay. So three chapters are available. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we can get. Well, I'll see how long it takes to go through these. So we'll start with movement three. I tore out my fingernails, waiting to hear your voice. I keep telling myself that the blood made me miss that call. Freefall contains excerpts from the poem Selfish, written by Charlie, provided before his passing. Disclaimer. Freefall and all their excerpts from Dry Machine contain heavy reference to real death, suicide, self-harm, suicidal ideation, and a number of other dark themes. If you are sensitive to any of the above material, please tread carefully. Dry Machine is a true story. see okay we do have a dash let's feel i found a nest of birds huddled together in the corner of the porch overhang of our family home it was spring and the newborn babies had to eat the incessant chirping was mind numbing oh geez but the birds in the nest were so cute oh hello mm. Just have to stop waiting mm. oh geez Oh. Uh, hey, have you heard from Charlie? No. Why? Sent me something weird. Haven't heard from him since Friday. I'm getting worried. Oh, that's concerning. Oh. Okay, I was gonna say, is like, where am I? Reminds me a bit of Cry of Fear. I feel. I think it was. I think we mentioned Cry of Fear at some points. One morning, the chirping was different. A tiny baby bird with no eyes to see has fallen from its home. Ooh. The thing was pathetic. Screaming for help from the pavement below. But as we all know, you're not supposed to touch a baby bird. I left it there to wait for its mother. Hmm. But night fell, and the bird's cries for help went unheeded, now weak with exhaustion. I did what I could to keep it from harm. Trying desperately to bring it closer to its home. I fear I may have sealed its fate. Mm. Hmm? Mm. Oh, oh, these, mm. oh, the names. Mm. It was fun at first. The brush of wings, the words between words, the brilliance of the light. Sunlight lingered on his lips. Dance in his smile, radiated from his eyes. A heavenly gleam that seemed to blot out the endless ocean. The lilting swallow melody that covered the notes of my own swan song. Yeah, sorry to keep referencing that game. It's like, it's a reminder that I should check it out, at the very least. Oh, OBS is shit in the bed. Okay, hold on. I just, I just realized OBS is fucking shit in the bed. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I just noticed it's lagging. OBS is lagging heavily. Okay, there it is. Uh, oh. Oh, that's so weird. It's that specific scene. Okay, um. Uh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's. This might be a bit rough. This might be a bit rough. OBS 
definitely does not like this. Um, okay, let's see, let's see. What can I do? Let me see if I can close a couple things. Like, try and see if I can... Oh, God, it's the... Oh, it's un... It is super unstable right now. Oh, Twitch, help me out. Oh, Twitch, what are you doing? Oh, Twitch, what are you doing? Uh, let's see. Uh, fuck. Oh. Uh. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Did, did it just like? It seems like it just hit. Okay, here we go. I think it's like something about the presentation is just not, not agreeing with OBS. Okay. Whoa. Hello. The next day, the baby bird was motionless. Its stick, sick, and fluid splayed out across the stark white where it laid. Oh, the baby never stood a chance. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna try and power through this, but OBS is not liking, not having any of this. I laid at an impasse. My daughter had seen the bird, saw how it yearned to live. She wanted to see it reunited with its family. I couldn't stand the thought of her cries when she discovered it. Crying out for its own mother. Let's see. It was fun at first. The brush of wings towards between the sunlight. Oh, here we go. Starting to really worry. Usually doesn't disappear for this long. Can't be gone for real this time. Can't do this without him. James, li li nah. James lives on the same campus. I'll ask him to go and knock on Charlie's door. He left a note on a server saying we could split up his stuff when he's gone. Tell your friend to fucking hurry. Oh, no. Let's see. Yeah, it's like... Ah, I'm not sure how... This is a problem I've ran into with OBS in the past. Like, certain... There's just certain game titles that it just does not want to do any... It, OBS just does not process well. And it's an issue I've ran into in the past. Like... And it's something that's really hard to kind of find out about ahead of time. Let's see. Because it's like, oh, it's encoding overload. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. How is there an encoding overload for this? What is going on here? Uh, Let me see here. Uh, I'm on. Okay, I'm going to try and let's see. what. How am I getting an encoding overload? On this of all things. Uh, sorry, we're gonna try and do a bit of maintenance here. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can turn down the bit rate some. Uh, turn down video settings or use a faster encoding preset. Um, oh god, I am not knowledgeable enough for this shit. Um, Let's see. Uh, enable environment settings. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can try. We'll lower the encoder preset. Uh, God. Mm. Yeah, let's try and see if we can set to performance maybe instead of quality for the encoder. And see if that helps anything. Yeah, we'll see if that helps. See if that helps. Uh, uh, nope, that's not helping. Fucking hell. Okay. Ah, uh, why am I getting an encoder overload? What is going on here? Every time I were using a faster encoding preset. Jesus fuck. I apologize for this. I wish I. I wish I could fucking understand how to actually fix this shit. Uh. Jeez. So, not the bit rate, obviously. Um, let's see. We'll try low latency performance. Uh, let's see. Like, it, it seems like it's just this game in particular that's causing it, because I don't, and I don't know why this game in particular is causing it. It's like, I don't even know how this pops up in the first place. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, it's like as soon as I fucking get out of the pause screen, then it fucking... As soon as I get out of the pause screen, it does it again. Okay, I think we're gonna... 
I think we're just gonna have to fucking power through it. I think we're just gonna have to fucking power through this for the moment. Oh. I don't like hearing the sounds of rope, though. Oh. Uh. Uh. What? Oh, hello. Uh, it was fun at first. Sunlight dances. Was suddenly the only person on Earth. The only person in this garden of weeds. Thoughtlessly, autonomously, grabbing at the rose that called to me. Thinking it was normal, it was beautiful. When my blood fell on the petals, because it was his color, and how could that be so wrong? Cupid's bow bent and slung those words into my bloodstream. I love you. When it comes to lies, the heart-shaped arrow kills just the same as the spade. And sometimes the anger consumes me. Mm. In memoriam, I laid the baby to rest in the garden. Behind the bushes. Out of sight. I thought I had done it a favor. Maybe the mother would finally come to care for her sickly child. Maybe it still had a chance. I try not to think about it. I try desperately to bury myself in my work. And anything to skip the memory of its cries. But the chirping wouldn't stop. No matter what I tore away or hid behind, the screams would never stop. Let's see. I was suddenly the only person on earth, the only person in this garden of weeds, thoughtlessly, autonomously, grabbing at the rose that called to me, thinking it was normal, it was beautiful when my blood fell on the petals, because it was his color, and how could that be wrong? Yeah. Double-headed snake with no eyes, thrashing blindly, purposeless teeth barred, because five years ago I was murdered, or maybe I wasn't. Is it murder if I provide the knife and let him into my home? Crystal clear, the sun's rays can sear a brand of foolishness into virgin skin. Uh, God, so my... Oh, jeez, is it fucking cutting out? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, stream... Oh, God, where is my cursor? Oh, my God, my cursor. Ah, jeez. Everything is fucking... Oh, why is everything going weird here? Why is everything going weird? Uh, faith, fall, face, flight, fail, freeze, forget. Okay. Let me make sure. Hold on. Uh, jeez. Yeah, I fucking apologize for this. This is so... What do you mean unstable? How is it unstable? Uh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, everything's frozen. Oh, everything's frozen, isn't it? Is everything frozen? I think it's frozen. Oh, jeez, the stream froze. God damn it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my fucking why? Oh, why? Okay, hold on. Why this? Why this? Uh, max performance, maybe, I guess. Um, let's see. Is it, is it back yet? Oh, jeez, I have fucking... Uh, I'm so sorry that this is happening. Like, I'm trying to fix this, and I I wish I could understand how this happened in the first place. Game shattered everything. Apparently. Fucking apparently. Like, holy fuck. Jeez, everything is just... Jeez. Okay, hold on. I can't fix anything. Yeah, I can't fix anything while it's while while I'm active. Ah, uh, this is like I guys, it's been forever since I ran into this issue, and I hope that it fucking fixed itself to some extent. But this is like this is bad. This is like really bad. Uh, when was the last time this even happened? Could just be the game's optimization. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. You would think that this wouldn't be an issue with a game in this particular style, but fuck, I, I don't know. I don't. I actually don't know. Unless I just fucking pull up uh, XSplit. 
it's something happens on the most random games too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Like, is the video feed at least caught up with caught up by any chance? Is the video feed at least caught up? Because if the, okay, if the video feed is at least caught up, then we could probably figure something out. Because let's see, I wonder if. Wonder if I can do like, uh, let's see, Hunter. Da, 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 da. Let's try. Let's try if I use game capture instead. Let's try using that. Let's try using game capture instead of display capture and see if that changes anything. Okay. Uh, not. Nope, still getting that encoding overload. Fucking hell. Uh, let's see. Okay. Consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoder preset. Let's see. Uh, I can't do that while I'm streaming. Um, can't exactly do that while I'm streaming. So, let's see. I wish I was, I had enough technical know-how to really figure this shit out. <laughs> I wish I had the technical know-how for this. Um, cause I got, I got set a hardware encoder right now, what I need to set to use so be a uh, software based encoder, or would that make it worse? Ah, oh, God. Like, oh geez, I'm trying to think of how to go about this. I'm trying to think of how to go about this. Okay. Because, like, we're getting into some really important subjects here. This is like... Oh, that was weird. Because there's a lot... Uh, Maybe just pass on it for now. Like, the whole objective of tonight was to have this game on display. <laughs> Racked with guilt and desperation, I took one last look. The chirping had stopped, but the wailing had only just begun. Okay, there we go. Maybe it would have been better if it passed. Oh, long ago. Oh, the swarming mass of biting ants. The agonizing screams of a baby in pain. And the family of birds. Now silent. Oh. Free fall. Exit from the drowning machine. Game by Aang Cushing. Oh, man. Based on the original story by Charlie Schultz. Except from Selfish. Written for game use. And provided for game use. That. It's a... Uh... Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Work. Yeah. Are you even still alive at this point? Okay. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so here it works fine, but once we get into the game itself, yeah, it's like, I wish I could... Ah, oh, man, that's... That's a no that's really frustrating. That Like, here it's... Here it seems to work fine, but... Fuck. I wish I could be able to play more of it without OBS shit in the bed. Well, Letters to the Wanderer. Oh, is this the uh, poem? Okay, that brings it up to the... Yeah, that brings it up to a, a Google Doc form. Uh, oh, okay. The Letters to the Wanderer. Uh, want to share your story. The Drowning Machine is not only a story of loss and grieving, but one to celebrate the lives of those who, uh, who we've lost, as well as those who wa still wander. Want to create an expression of how much we as a community c care for those we love, so please take the time to write a letter or even just a short note to Charlie if you knew him, or to a wanderer of your own, someone you've lost, or even a letter to yourself. 
will be compiling these accounts with your permission to be displayed within the full release of the drowning machine. Life is short. Tell someone you love them today. National Suicide Prevention. It's got yeah, they got numbers for the National Suicide Prevention Hotline and the Trans Lifeline. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and link this in chat. I'm gonna link this one in chat so that you can check that out. At the very least, <laughs> at the very least, you can be able to check that out. Um. So, oh God, yeah, I see the fucking video feed is completely fucking screwed up. So, yeah, let's go ahead and leave this. There we go. Uh, at the very least, try and see if we can. Uh, let's get out of here real fast and get into. Get back into the hallway at the very least. And then. Yeah, let's give it a chance. Yeah, give this a chance to kind of recover a bit. Whoop! Wrong icon there. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Let me fix a couple things. Uh, performance. Set that. Okay. So, I linked the Google Doc itself into chat. Um, so, essentially what seems to be is something a bit of a kind of a anonymous letter system that you can a form that you can fill out you can write a letter um to any particular individual and uh oh yeah it's uh oh yeah you can have it included in the full release for the drowning machine uh letter can be edited after submission oh yeah okay so if there's anyone that you particularly wish to write a letter to you can fill that form out and um seems like they'll be they will add it to the full game so is it full okay so some of the some of this still so it is still in development i believe uh yeah the demo is still up um currently it's up to restructuring so part so uh one three four and six are currently in the demo right now i believe and the rest will be available in the full release so i just feel bad because like the whole objective of this evening was to try to let me put video capture back up. There we go. And uh, let's see if it's see if it's working now. Like, see if it's smooth. Oh well, there's no. Well, there's no display now. There's actually no display now. Fucking hell. Um. Geez. <laughs> oh no, wait. I had the uh, video capture display. I need display capture. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. So. Oh god, I feel so bad because. Ah, uh, like. Ah, uh, but well, let's, let me put. Well, we at least got through one chapter at the very least. But that is the drowning machine. Um, a game in memoriam of a lost friend. So, like, I wish we could go through more of this. Because there's, there were two other chapters available, but OBS is apparently just like, nah, can't you just give me your soul in the Capri Sun pouch? <laughs> uh, it's like I wish I could punch OBS. Sometimes, like it's free, but it's 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 weird to figure out. Uh, it's fine. It happens. I know, but I still really feel bad because like the entire objective of tonight was to get both of these like both outcry and drowning machine to play and play both of these demos because they have very important like messages associated with them um and i wanted to at least give both of these titles their time of day and let me just go ahead and just pop on over to our just chatting section for the for a bit just kind of pop over here there we go uh, whoa, I'm very close to the screen here. Uh, let's see. One sec. 
One sec. Um, there we go. One sec. I'm. Oh, uh, let me move back. Away. Let me move away a little bit. <laughs> let me move away a little bit. Uh, that's not it. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, hold on. There we are. There I am. All right. Let me go ahead. And, let me go ahead and just move away. Let me. Let me get. Let me create. Let me cause, allow for some uh, personal space. You know. Uh, allow for some personal space. So. I wish we could at least go over a little more of Drowning Machine. But we got through one chapter. We got through one chapter. So both of those demos are available in the Haunted PS1 demo disc. Um, the demo disc itself, free. You can check. And of course, both of those respect. Uh, both of those demos are also. Both of those games are also locatable on itch.io um yeah personal space man. <laughs> yeah uh yeah tried but unfortunately optimization didn't want to work with it yeah it's like it's been a while since i ran into this that issue and i thought i had a fucking good enough rig where that wasn't going to be a problem but just wasn't in the cards i guess but just let me go ahead and end it like I'm not gonna end at least at least you tried yeah at least we tried at least we tried at least we tried and we got through at least one chapter of drying machine um but uh what was i gonna say we'll try it. i'm not gonna end the stream but but i'm gonna go ahead and take a bit of a break before we move on to something else but to kind of kind of how do i want to say this to kind of end this little uh, end this that little to kind of paraphrase the overall message from what we went through because we went through a lot of the both games had dealt with very heavy subjects um you matter you are not a burden and there is always someone that cares about you. This is generally stuff that these are subjects that even I generally have difficulties dealing with myself. So, but sometimes confronting these subjects is how we grow as people sometimes we do have to encounter some of these subjects one way or another and it's not easy it's never easy it never gets any easier there are there are hotlines out there to call there is always a hotline available and specifically why I wanted to like have the Trevor project on focus for this because they have services available for people in for their time of need and they provide a really good service especially for the for people of for members of the LGBTQ community and sorry just trying to get my words together <laughs> it's gets difficult and it's there's always something that will cause there, there's be, there will always be times where you will think you may get the thought, negative thoughts in your head and they will try to persist in your head for as long as they're able to it's not easy to get them out it is not easy to get that out get them out 
there are generally a lot of different ways to try and go about it, but there is no one surefire path to beating those demons. No one's like to be in such a dark place, lucky enough to snap out of that state through sheer willpower. Yeah, it's like for some individuals, sometimes it really does just take just sheer willpower. It's just kind of will your a lot of, to will yourself out of that dark place. For others, it's not as easy. Everyone, everyone deals. Everyone has their own demons that they need to fight. And it's never an easy battle. It's never an easy fight. It's... The most that we can usually do is to... Make ourselves available... For... The people that... We care about. Make ourselves... Available to those in times of need and just kind of be accepting of others like sorry just, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so heavily emotional here Hold on. Oh. sorry I'm just kind of uh, I'm just kind of this is like, this, how do I even want to, I, it's really hard for me to really say this because I'm not exactly an experienced motivational speaker or anything like that. Yeah, you know, tomorrow's another get, day and it'll get better. You just have to keep at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Want to be, yeah. Want to be strong enough to help others. Yeah, yeah. That's a good motivation to have. It is a good motivation to have. And... I guess the biggest takeaway from what we've experienced here is always don't forget to be true to yourself and don't be afraid to reach out for help if you need it. Again, you are not a burden. You are not a burden to anyone. Yeah, heavy subjects gets yeah, heavy subjects gets you. Yeah, it's really it really does. It really does. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is kind of one I knew this was going to be diff, this, I knew this was going to be difficult going into this evening. I knew it was going to be difficult going in. I was going to do my best to get through as much as I was I could do. I just kind of wish we could go through more of the drowning machine if OBS would actually cooperate. Um, but if you want to go, but if you want to go ahead and check out more of drowning machine, um, it's available on itch.io and outcry as well is also on itch.io. Um, feel free to check those games out. And again, feel free to check out the Trevor project. Um, they are, they do a lot of good work, it, and they work. They do. They work. They work for a good cause. <sighs> okay, so I am going.